Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're checking out a couple new Civivis. We'll check this one out here in one second. So this first one is the Concept 22, which is a tough knives design. D2 steel. We have a G10 scale, full tang of D2, and it is a Tonto, uh, kind of. <laughs> it is a unique design for sure. It is very cool. The cool factor is up there for sure. I'm not sure what they are going for with this, if this is supposed to be for self-defense, if it's supposed to be for camping. I will say, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely unique, something different. You don't see this every day. Um, I'm not a fan of the lanyard, so I'm just going to take it off right now. But the sheath works really good. I'm very happy with the sheath. Very clicky. Great retention. No rattle, no tap. Great push-off point, and it has one of these, um, the Bob Terzola, um, basically a tech lock, and so you can position this any direction you want. Put your belt through here. You can easily put it on and take it off, which is really, really cool. So this is a great, great sheath, um, and, and I love these belt clips. Now, what do I think could be better? What, do, what, what don't I like about it? So if it's for outdoor use, right, which I figure you can use it for no matter what if you want to, the handle is a little bit slim for that. So I kind of wish that either this got bigger right here or just like continued getting bigger or two was just a little bit girthier. Um, but for EDC purposes, it's fine. It's good because you're going to want something slim, right? And if it's for like self-defense, then yeah, I guess it's still pretty good because it's nice and slim. You'll be able to conceal it a little bit better. However, even for self-defense, I kind of wish it was just a little, just, I mean, a tiny, tiny bit thicker. Not much though. So it's right there. So depending on your hand, you might grab this and say, no, this is perfect. You know, but for my uh, hands, just a little tiny bit more. So when chopping with it outside, this part's a little bit slim to chop with it like that. So what I like doing is taking these three fingers around this fat end like that and kind of letting it bounce using the front end heavy part of the blade to work as momentum. The sharpening choil is not the biggest finger choil, so you can use it as a finger choil, but it's more of a sharpening choil. You know, it's just, it's like, it's perfectly fit for a finger. So, you know, it is a little bit snug depending on how tight your finger is. So you can use it, but it's more of a sharpening choil. Beautiful swedge, uh, beautiful grind. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Let's check out this next one. Next is the Wee Spiny Dogfish, which is a Gavco design, if you can't see that. <laughs> it definitely screams Gavco, and you got this handle, beautiful machining on this rocky pattern. And it even has like a, a crazy design, how it kind of, you know, uh, twists and turns a little bit. Nice and slim. 14C 28N blade steel with this dual ground sheep's foot blade. It is not a Tonto, but it is a dual grind. A little bit thinner back in this area. This I think this is a hollow and then this is a flat. Um, so it is slimmer back here. Nice finger choil. Ergonomics are really good. I mean, it's slim. I can choke up pretty good. Um, I do feel the clip a little bit, but it's not horrible if I, because I'm choked back here, I can feel it, but you know, I can always choke up a little bit and, and avoid it. Um, access to the lock bar, they left you some jimping and it, it's proud on both sides, so good job on that. Easy to get past the detent, very, very smooth. And this whole deployment, I mean, you could probably flick it with every single finger. You know, it's just you have a lot of a lot of room to basically flick it wherever you want or you know with whatever fingers you want because you have so much room so much area in that hole which is really really cool detent is really good yeah this is pretty cool 14 c 28 n love that blade steel uh if i had some negative things to say you know maybe it could use a reversible deep carry clip because it already has a deep carry clip but it's just not reversible um you know 
that, you know, I, I don't really care about that, but I know lefties do. Other than that, I mean, I don't really see anything. Nothing stands out to me as a negative. It's a great pinch grip knife. I like that it's unique. It's got a unique style to it. It's well done. Feels really good. And the price seems like a decent price. 58 about 60 bucks. About 60 bucks for this. Not too shabby. So, very cool. Anyways, there you guys go. Just a quick look at some new Civivi knives. Everything will be linked down in the description. Peace.